Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brenda, or also known as Cozyaholic. And for today's video, we are now gonna be decorating my formal dining room, which I'm very excited to share with you guys. It turned out so freaking beautiful, and I really hope that you guys like it as well. And if you watch my previous Decorate With Me videos, then you know that for this year, I am trying to go for a very natural, organic look, very minimal, kind of Scandinavian. And honestly, I just like, it's been a journey of trying to figure out what I wanted to do for this area, but I think I finally figured it out. As you can tell, I painted this wall a beautiful green color, which I will link the color for you guys down below as well as here on the video. But honestly, it's such a creamy green. So freaking beautiful, I love it. But anyways, I really hope that you guys do enjoy and get all the inspiration you need for when you're ready to decorate for Christmas. And other than that, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna hop right into it. So before I start decorating my table, I went ahead and refilled my all-purpose spray bottle with the Mrs. Mayer's Iowa Pine Christmas Collection, which smells amazing. So I just filled this up and removed the fall scented one that I had previously, which was pretty much already empty. There's maybe like an inch of it left, um, but I went ahead and replaced that with this one. And basically nothing fancy here, but I sprayed the table down and wiped it down to make sure there was no dust or any food residue or anything like that. And also if you guys are interested in purchasing these amber glass spray bottles, I will link them down below for you guys. They're from Amazon, they're super affordable and they spray amazing. Um, so I will have that linked below for you guys. And then obviously we're gonna start off with my garland here. So I have two of them and I kind of played around with it to see what would work best. And at the end, I decided that I think the best way to go about it would be to intertwine both of them, kind of like making an infinity sign, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like that just really added that volume that I needed. And then I just started fluffing up the leaves, kind of spreading them out, make sure that I was hiding as much of the brown twine as I could, just to make sure it didn't look super fake. You obviously want to make it look full and realistic, so just make sure to hide all of your little branches that are in there. And then I moved along with my candlestick holders. So these I purchased from Hobby Lobby, super beautiful. And these, you can find them in the normal candlestick section, not in the holiday section. And I also recommend that you always buy these when they're 50% off. If you don't see any tags around the aisles that say that any candle stuff is 50% off, I recommend you waiting until it is so you don't spend any extra money. And then basically what I did here is I just kind of alternated between a small one and a tall one and it pretty much looks like this, super freaking gorgeous. And then same thing, I picked these up in the same candle section from Hobby Lobby. These are these gorgeous golden candles. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. And although I usually wouldn't do this because the candlestick holder is the same color, I feel like it just looked really, really good. It kind of made it look like it was an extension of it. I might end up switching them for maybe some dark green ones, but for now, I love the way this looks. And then moving along to some more decorations, these beautiful teardrop branch like stem things are so gorgeous. I wish I would have picked more of them up because I went back and I couldn't find them anymore. They're completely sold out, so I was very sad. But I think if you go there and you go to like the wedding section, they might have some. I didn't have a chance to go in there, but I found online that there was possibly some. But anyways, I took them apart and I started adding them in between my garland. And pretty much the concept of this is to make it look like 
the garland is wet kind of like it has little little water driplets coming out so kind of for example like if you were to cut this outside while it was raining you know in the morning and then you bring it inside and lay it down that's kind of like the concept that i was going for so it just makes it feel super natural kind of like you have something from the outdoors from the nature sitting on your table i just love the way it turned out it looks gorgeous i just really wish i had more of these And then moving along with my plateware, dinnerware, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I have these placemats that I purchased from the IKEA fall collection and I never got a chance to use them. So this was like the perfect chance to. And I went ahead and placed four of them on the table. Typically you would do like all six and also like where the main chairs are, but we are only a family of four. So I just did four for this time around. My table also isn't that big, so it wouldn't have fit. It would have been way too cluttered. So I put those around the table and then these plates, or I think they're called, I can't remember what they're called. There's a name for these specific plates. If you guys can remind me, that would be super awesome because I can't remember. Um, but I went ahead and placed these in there and these I purchased last year, but I believe they still have them at Hobby Lobby. Um, and then next up, these napkins, I wanted to turn them into these beautiful kind of like Christmas tree type napkins and it just looks so gorgeous and so festive and I will say that this is not an original idea of mine. I did find this on Pinterest so um, I will try and link whoever actually did this and credit them for, for giving me this idea but I love the way it looked and obviously of course I wanted to recreate it. And essentially what you do is just kind of fold the napkin up into different layers and then you tuck in the little corners all the way in and pretty much just do that. And at the end, it looks like a Christmas tree. So freaking cute. If I had some green napkin holders, I think that would have looked so gorgeous, way better than this. But these were the napkins that I had. I really didn't want to purchase new ones. So this is all what I had to work with. I might end up switching them out. Who knows? But you guys will see that in my final Christmas home tour and then also I feel like this would have been so perfect with some black plates so I might possibly buy them but who knows we will see and then for silverware I just went with these golden bronze ones that are so gorgeous I purchased these at Target and I believe these are the threshold collection And then for my window, I have this little like suction hook thing that I put there to hang my wreath. And this one is from the Magnolia collection at Target. And I just love the little vintage bells that it has. Came out gorgeous. And anyways, that is pretty much everything, you guys. Super minimal, but just so festive. I love the way it turned out. So I hope you guys like it as well. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It means the world when you guys show the support. And I can't wait to see you for the next video. Bye. Days wander around with you. You and me in the cold thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas